Bitcoin um, and you got cryptographic currencies. Um, mm -hmm. We met with a, uh, we're spending a lot of time on, we're very, we're very optimistic on Bitcoin and we're very enthusiastic, but we're spending time with lawyers because there's all these legal issues. And we met with a top securities lawyer and he said, well, he said, good news, guys. He said, here you have a financial instrument that can be simultaneously regulated as a currency, uh, a commodity, and a security. Um, he said, you have the perfect storm. Every single regulator uh, is going to lay claim to this. Um, he said, the bad news is that it's going to get regulated from every single uh, side, um, the, at least in the US. He said, the good news is they're going to fight over who gets to regulate it. Um, and so your job is to sneak through the fight um, uh, while they're battling it out to see who's in charge. Um, but but th Bitcoin's a great example of this. Like Bitcoin, Bitcoin, like I think Bitcoin will ultimately be, it'll ultimately be regulated in the US, it'll ultimately be accepted, like it'll, it'll happen. But there are lots of places in the world, I mean, the US for all of, its, all of our problems has a relatively healthy functioning financial system on a relative, not on an absolute basis, on a relative basis, mm -hmm. compared to a lot of other countries. Um, there are a lot of other countries in the world that have a disastrous currency system or a disastrous internal financial or regulatory system. Bitcoin is gonna be extremely attractive in those countries, right? Mm -hmm. And Bitcoin is gonna be the outside response it's going to be adopted precisely because it's not controlled by the government of, you know, pick a country mm -hmm. um, that has bad policies. Um, and so it's an example of this where it'll, it'll basically, it essentially is coming in from outside. Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing I really like about the ideas that come in from outside, they're risky and dangerous because in, 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 you know, they can be regulated and you have to sort of deal with these issues. You know, the exciting thing is to a certain extent, the radical new ideas, the ones that come in from outside are sort of a reaction to all of the, over-regulation, over-control that's already happening, right? So, like, so if world currencies today were, like, completely fluid um, and you could move money freely across borders um, and there were, you know, and, and, like, all these other sort of, you know, sort of libertarian kind of aspects of mm -hmm. how you think about currency, then in a sense you wouldn't need Bitcoin because you'd already have kind of just free, free flow of money. Mm -hmm. um, so one way to think about Bitcoin is it's a response to the fact that large, by and large, currencies are controlled today. Um, mm -hmm. And so, so it's a response to the control. And so, to an extent, the more people try to add more control, the more it just creates the need for the uncontrolled alternative. Right. Right. And so, it's a, it's, it's sort of a, you know, if it's a genuinely radical new idea, you know, it will tend to benefit. It, it not benefit in the moment, but in the long run, it will benefit by attempts from to quash it. From the clampdown. Yeah. Um, I think the internet was a little bit like that in the I early days. I mean, a bit days. like file sharing and music. For yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. You know, so they, you know, they go after Napster and they. Kill then the old computing platform, in that it's slow, it's really complex, um, it's lacking a lot of features. But it has one feature that has never existed before, and that's trust. Mm -hmm. And trust is super powerful. It comes from the mathematical and game theoretic properties of the platform, and that means that you don't have to trust the government or Twitter and Facebook or the other people even on the network. You just have to trust math. Mm -hmm. And that opens a very interesting world for developers because you can build new applications like money, um, which you know, nobody's ever been able to program money before, but now you can. You can uh, program law and contracts, uh, and you don't have to worry about a corrupt lawyer. Or you don't have to trust a lawyer. You don't have to trust a judge. Uh, you can program digital property, so you can build art that only one person owns, and you don't have to trust a broker or somebody who might be faking it. Uh, you don't have to trust the platform. If you're a developer, you know, a lot of people built things on the last set of platforms, you know, Twitter and Facebook, and, you know, that didn't work out that well because when that company changed their mind right. about what they wanted to be, then all the developers lost. But in crypto world, you don't have to do that. You just trust the math, and uh, that's, a, that's a really transformational idea. Going back to the champagne. Um, could you try and be very uh, specific and, and um, how, how will I pay for it? What will be the currency? What's the method? I think currencies are evolving. I mean, there's a particular algorithm behind Bitcoin and you know, whether that really holds up or not is unclear, but I think we will have decentralized forms of currency. That's, Bitcoin is, a, is an uh, attempt to create a decentralized currency that's not controlled by, by countries. Uh, I think we'll have emerging uh, currencies like that. We already have, you know, there's thousands of different stocks you can buy. That's a form of currency, and those mm -hmm. are decentralized. And uh, so it's hard to predict what will catch on, but I think it will be de decentralized. And artificial intelligence will note that you bought a product and will adjust accounts. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe.
If you do like what you're listening to, please advise your friends and family. Guys, we're definitely in an imperative time for us to get back to learning finances, back to reading and learning how the world really works. Now, guys, we're going to go over uh, crypto and I definitely want to thank those who purchased the book, Crypto Teacher. Also, uh, the NWO book, Learn How the World Really Works. Uh, also, those who donate to the Cash app and Patreon, I want to thank you a whole bunch because you definitely uh, make the difference. Now, uh, going over the crypto market, guys, we have Bob in a few days. We know what happens. I go over this time over time. Remember the video yesterday, this game is rigged. And because the game is rigged, that's the way we make money. So basically we get in, we make our money before bot comes, we come out. Same thing with uh, BitMEX and CME until things change and they will start to change because we're gonna see less and less dips because more people are gonna be wanting Bitcoin instead of dollars as we can see. They're destroying the dollar right now. But right now, the dollar is powerful because the Fed wants to buy everything. The central banks want to buy everything, and they're using dollars for that. Now, uh, going over the uh, the video, uh, basically, we have uh, Mark, uh, Mark Andreessen, Ben Horowitz. Uh, guys, I uh, did a decoded video. Go check out my decoded videos. Um and see the power that these two have and the backing, what's backing them, and that's the key. Um, you can see the actual companies that they actually invested in and still own in their active portfolio, Coinbase, Anchorage, uh, the, the list goes on, and I put the list here. Uh, also, the important investment, of course, we had, they had uh, Ripple, so they've been at, at it at the beginning. And that's what I want to make sure that y'all understand. You see these same hands, the same investors in crypto at the beginning when crypto was first started. So basically, you already know they knew what the plan was. Now, uh, basically, you also have um, Ray Kurzel talking about Bitcoin. Now, that was back in 2016 when nobody was even thinking about uh decentralized crypto and it was not in the mainstream media so uh, just like I stated we know that these guys who are part of this machine know what's actually coming and that's the reason why we need to get in the head of it now also Forbes did a uh, article dirty money is given the rise to digital currency we see that fintech banks digital currency is definitely uh, going to be the future guys uh, so that's the reason why you want to stay ahead of the game. Now, just going over the markets a little bit. Of course, we have the Fed, just like I said, buying everything, including cryptos. And they're just doing it through stable coins. So just make sure we understand that you're not buying stable coins. So who is putting this billions and billions of dollars in, in stable coins? It's the, it's the Federal Reserve. But we know this. We understand this because you listen to my channel. Now, going over the uh, C word, of course, I can't say the word. Now, I took this photo, so this is not Photoshopped. So, I took this photo from my own television. They're saying Chinese is researching Viagra to fight the C word. Now, guys, this is amazing. So, uh, guys, don't pay attention to the television. Get, read, do your own research. But, guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and WO. Your links for your uh, cryptos, Coinbase, Binance, Bitro. If you're new to crypto, you're just listening to the channel, you want to get in. Also, your stocks to buy. Stock market, just like I told y'all, when everybody's saying the stock market was going to crash, it's over, what was I saying? We're going to go right back up because the Fed is not ready yet. So uh, don't forget about your gaming stocks. Uh, your chip stocks, your cobalt, never bet against the banks. People are sitting at home. Make sure you invest and do your research on those stocks, the deliveries, those stocks. Of course, uh, basically like a state, when people are depressed, anxiety, they drink and they smoke weed. Don't forget about your weed stocks, your alcohol stocks. Guys, get focused. This is the time to make money. Get yourself comfortable because at the end of the year, there's going to be pain and you don't want to be one of them. And you have a wonderful day.